Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Classic Eight here. Um, just a couple things before I start this video. For my last video that I did, the Armageddon review. For those of you that actually caught on to that video was a joke. Thank you, because some people out there, you guys really don't, you know, you're too serious when it comes to stuff. I got comments like, "This isn't a review. This is just naming the results of the match." and you know, blah, blah, blah. You don't think I know that? Basically, I did that because I know there's going to be 15 guys that come on here and say pretty much say the same thing, you know. So, you know, like, you don't want to be bored to death. So, I just threw that stuff in there, told you what the, you know, DVD you should check out, and then peace out. That's all I did, okay? Just take a joke, people. I like to joke around sometimes. All right. Um, another thing. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I think I did this video back in October, it was the year in review. I was basically going to do like, a, you know, a video for like an individual wrestler, but basically I'm, I think I'm going to do like three wrestlers per video. Uh, so look out for those soon, that should be coming. Um, hopefully I can get a couple in this week and then maybe like a couple more like the beginning of the year. Um, yeah, there's too many, too much stuff going on this week. Um, got a lot of work, you know. You know, Christmas thing coming up. But I got a lot, like a lot of work to do this uh, this week because this weekend I actually am. I'm so excited about this. I'm actually going to Raw. Raw is being taped on uh, this coming Saturday. And I am going down to me and a couple of buddies of mine I'm going out in North Carolina. We're gonna go see uh, Monday Night Raw. I'm looking forward to this because I get to see Ric Flair versus uh, Triple H, and I am looking so forward to looking at, well, so forward to seeing that that uh, that match. So can't wait to go to this. And then the next night, Sunday, next Sunday, a week from today. Which is the next night. Like I said, we're coming back home up to Richmond and we are going to the SmackDown ECW taping. So, I got a lot of stuff to do this week and then a big weekend ahead of me. So, yeah. But this video is uh, my top 10 DVDs that I have purchased. Not saying, you know, of the entire year, like these are the best. This is the top 10 of what I have purchased. Everyone knows I'm a DVD whore, so. This is what I'm doing. So, uh, I'm not gonna really go into order, but I'm just gonna start with number ten. I'm actually, I actually got this video or this DVD. I got this two days ago, and I've been watching it. You know, full force. This is the uh, Best of Raw 15th Anniversary DVD. You get uh, all three DVDs right here. Pretty much the uh, beginning years with HBK right here, and then you get pretty much got the Attitude Era with this whole DVD with Austin the Rock, and then the Cena. I don't know how Cena gets on the cover, but yeah, the Cena era. Really, really good DVD. I'm actually watching it right now. Uh, that right there, that's David Seaster. But uh, what is he watching? What is he watching? What is he watching? Come on, David Seaster, get off my TV. There he is. That's the uh, one. Favorite matches of all time: Shawn Michaels versus Shelton Benjamin, the Gold Rush Tournament match. Love that match. Anyway, definitely pick up. Like I said, if you love Raw and you want to see stuff that you haven't seen before, or you want to relive stuff like the um, ECW Invasion, the original one, or you want to see Pillman's Got a Gun, you want to see Stone Cold the Beer Truck, you want to see Ric Flair versus Mr. the Perfect, uh, Loser Leaves Raw. You want to see the Gold Rush Tournament, Shelton Benjamin versus Shawn Michaels. You want to see HBK's return from just, you know, a couple months ago. Um, Mick Foley winning the World no, Mick, Foley. Mick Foley winning the World Championship. Kurt Angle coming out with the milk truck. Anything you can think of is on this DVD. Definitely check it out. Well worth it. I think it costs like 20 bucks or something. If you get it from Walmart, you can get, I think, the original um, episode of Raw, where this guy named Damian Demento job to the Undertaker, but yeah, definitely check this out. Next DVD, uh, I want to go with this one. Definitely, definitely pick up the ladder match right here. Nine hours of non, uh, no pun intended, non-stop action. 
Um, probably my favorite one on here, if not the WrestleMania 17, is uh, the four-way, the four-way tag team match on Raw, where I think it was Bubba Ray and Spike versus Christian and Jericho versus Kane versus RVD and Jeff Hardy. Amazing, amazing match. But like I said, nine hours worth of stuff. Also, you got uh, another one of my favorites, SummerSlam 1998. Triple H versus The Rock. Definitely, definitely pick this up. If you don't have it, definitely get this. We're going to go with next one. Uh, I think this aired in July, I believe. ROH, respect this earned. Definitely, definitely pick up. Um... Dream tag team match right here. Morishima Danielson versus Kenta McGinnis. Definitely have to see this, man. And then the bonus matches up here. Um, I mean, of course, you got the Briscoes versus Seidel and Castanoli. Um, awesome, DVD. Definitely, definitely pick this up right here. It's well worth it. Um, then we're going to go to the, the biggest little man, Rey Mysterio, right here. I'm not a huge Rey Mysterio fan, but. I heard it's had a lot of his WCW matches on here, so, you know, if you're a Rey Mysterio fan of now, and you want to learn your history on him, or if you're an old school Rey Mysterio fan like I am, and want to see his old stuff with Eddie Guerrero, and Chavo, and, uh, what, he's got a Billy Kidman match on here or something, and you got Jericho, and Psychosis, and Hooventu, check this DVD out. Like I said, I don't really like the way his DVD came off, but... For the matches, definitely, definitely check it out. Um, let's see, right here, Ric Flair in the four. I believe this came out this year. I don't know if for a while. Yeah, Ric Flair in the Four Horsemen. Uh, learn your history, people. Check these out. Everyone knows I'm a huge mark of evolution, but these guys ran wrestling. Not just their company; they ran wrestling. So, check this out. Old R. Anderson. Um, Ric Flair, you know, Tolly Blanchard, check this out, people. This, just learn your history and this stuff. Um, then we're going to go with TNA. Um, not the greatest TNA DVD. Like, I could have put probably, like, Bound for Glory. I don't really want to put too many, like, pay-per-views or whatever. I could have put Bound for Glory before this, but the history of TNA year one. Definitely check this out, people. This is, uh... Uh, it's a good watch. I wish it came off much better, but it's a good watch. And then you get a bunch of like old matches. Even though I got them on the original three, you get the old matches on here. Um, I wish they would have put the. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> like I said, I only watched the uh, the documentary. I haven't watched the match yet. They do have the triple ladder match on here. People, you need to see that match. If you've never seen that match at TNA, check that match out. The history of TNA Year One is a definite, definite buy. If you're a TNA fan, and even if you want to learn about TNA, get this. We have uh, our which driven. Everyone knows how freaking good this pay per view is, man. You got so many matches on here. Danielson versus McGinnis, and then you know, God, just the bonus matches. Like I said, with the, the respect is earned. You get the bonus matches up here. Danielson versus Kenta. This is, you know, this is really what you want to see right here. Um, and then you got a couple other matches, Marafucci versus uh, BJ Whitmer and the Briscoes versus Steen and El Generico. Definitely pick this up, people. Uh, I am wait. I can't wait. I've already got my pre-order for Man Up, but this is definitely only. You need to put this in your DVD collection, people. Uh, and then we go with, um, like I said, with the recent one, with the Raw. This one just came out, I think, a week, not a week, uh, like two, three weeks ago. The triumph and tragedy of World Class Championship Wrestling. Like I said, by the, I bought this basically to learn my history. I didn't know too much about World Class, but now, you know, a lot went down in here. I mean, I know about Von Eric's that, you know, God bless that family. Um, definitely pick this up, people. Like I said, just learn your stuff. And if you have um, um, WWE 24-7, check out a lot of their stuff in the um, classic section. Really good. Um, and then, John Cena, my life. I know a lot of Cena haters like, oh, why did you pull that out? People, I know everyone, you know, what is it? John Cena, Word Life. It was a bad DVD, but this right here, you need to get this DVD. It's really good. Really good story. And then you get a bunch of matches like JBL 
since Judgment Day, I think 2005 in the I Quit match. Everyone loved, well, I say everyone loved that match. That match was great. Um, like I said, he came off really good in this. Um, you know, you'll see a lot of guys, Edge, Triple H, Vince McMahon, comment on Cena. Definitely get that. And like when Mr. John Cheese 12 said, the DVD of the year, Shawn Michaels, Heartbreak and Triumph, well, probably the best story that WWE has put together. And in my opinion, I mean, there's the Benoit story, there's the Guerrero story, there's the Bret Hart story. Um, the Stone Cold story is coming out later this year. And then you got, you know, the Hulk Hogan story, the Roddy Piper, all that. People, this is what you need to get right here. Really, really good DVD. Please just. I know a lot of you people want to get Torrents, screw the Torrents, buy this, spend your money on this. People, those are my recommendations. Pick those DVDs up. I am Instant Class 8, and I am out.